chose Voyages to Antiquity. The ship? Cruise. <laughs> Just having everything organised. <laughs> we didn't want to have to work too hard at deciding where we were going to go and what time we'd have to leave and how we were going to get there. And <laughs> it's nice to be able to come back to your cabin and have everything unpacked. And feel like you're at home. Yeah. <laughs> beautiful ship. Some days we think, oh, we think we'd just rather stay here today. But we go on to the land trips. I loved Egypt. Well, I always wanted to see the pyramids along the Nile. <laughs> and that's what we saw. It was grand. The Valley of the Kings. Amazing thing to be able to look at. The one particular place that made a real impact upon me was St Catherine's Monastery, being at Mount Sinai, because for me it was part of a spiritual journey. I'm a doctor. To me that's been an incredible journey and something I'll take away with me for the rest of my life. I chose this for two reasons really. One, because it was single cabins at no extra expense. But the other reason was it was going to all the places I really, really wanted to see. Crack de Chevalier, Baalbek, Palmyra are all highlights for me and have been magnificent. This will be the last lecture on Egypt. I've always valued lectures. They give you so much more background of what you're going to see and it deepens your understanding of what you're looking at. She drank with them at times, she rode with them, and she developed all the characteristics of a great warrior. She married Mother Nappus as his second wife. Palmyra is just incredible. I have been looking forward to it for so long, but there have been other highlights as well. Going back to Lebanon was amazing. That the statue of the god was standing in the dark because according to the old legends, Baal or Zeus were born in a cave. You can imagine the atmosphere. This is great because there are people here you can talk to, you can get to know them. I've been on a couple of big ships, 2,000 people on a boat, so that's not for me. But if you want to come on a cruise where you can relax, you can have good company, good food, and absolutely stunning scenery, history, then I would highly recommend this. The Aegean Odyssey has really, I think, been a, a big surprise in just how good it is. I've been on a lot larger cruise ships, but I like this. It's been fantastically refurbished. I would certainly recommend the Marco Polo restaurant. I think the food there is excellent. The service is very good. It's nice and informal. The wine is included at the mealtime, which is great. The guides have been excellent. We've learned a lot from them. They've been very good in terms of their English and the little whisper devices we've been using really help when you're in somewhere where there are lots of other groups as well. Oh, I find the staff charming. The staff can't do enough for you. And that goes from everybody, from the, the cabin steward to the bar staff to the tour reps. The quality of the tours is superb. You can't fault the, the guides who come with you. They seem to be incredibly knowledgeable. And they facilitate everything magnificently. I never have a problem with that. Very informative guides. It's my second at Voyages to Antiquities cruise. This suits me, no children. And the reason I chose to do this cruise was because it offered things that as a single person you can't always do on your own. You've always got that backup and that protection. I'm looking at next year's brochure already. Thank you.